I want to see your face. That's actually something that I sh think I should tell you. But I can't make up my mind. Sorry, never mind. Forget what I said. I probably should respond later, but it sounds like there's something very important for her. <laughs> I'm extra proud of today's curry. You better savor it. You got an invitation from someone? Want to go upstairs and reply once we're finished eating? And I have to say, the curry the chief is proud of smells absolutely delicious. You're always saying that, Morgana. This guy really wants to eat the curry. He really does. Well, that reminds me, the home. Yeah, I'm not doing the home shopping channel. I'm never doing that, bro. Nice. So, okay, what are we gonna do today? Okay. What's my confidant with them? Both of them at rank five. What are we doing today? I can't just sit around, so I'm looking around the mall in Shibuya. I'm super, pe it's super packed since it's summer vacation. Wanna come with me? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still, I'll still be here in Shibuya for a little. So let me know if you, if anything comes up. So let's see. Decide later. Or what's with Ryusuke? I got plans today. I still I still can't just sit around and do nothing. I'm at the arcade in Shibuya. Let me know if anything comes up. You know, there's seven days left and I haven't even done the job. So we're not even going to hang with them today. We're actually going to go to our job today. Hopefully we can find something about the... Uh, the cat's incident. So let's get to work today. What do you want to do? Let's go to work. Oh, thank God. Welcome. Welcome to our shop. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? Well, the thing is, I saw a cat in the road a little while back. It was injured badly. There it is. This is what I was looking for. When I got close, it got scared and ran off, dragging its leg. Anyway, I just overheard some college-age people in our store talking. They said there was a college student living near who abused his animals to relieve his stress. And then I remembered that injured cat I saw. I think maybe he was the one who injured the cat. What about the police? Did they do anything about this? I brought up the police, but without any proof, they can't really do anything. I've been thinking about the cat ever since. It's hard to keep smiling. You know the police can't... They... You know, the police can't do it, but you think those Phantom Thieves could help? I mean, do you have any info on him? Huh? Oh yeah, I think the guy's name is Kazuo Suboi. Okay! It'll all work out. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't stand it if he kept hurting people's... Hurting animals like that. Like this. Someone needs to stop today. him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's almost the end of the of shift, right? Good work. Good work out there. You got to learn how to be considerate of others through dealing with customers. Yep, my charm is still growing to this day. You remember what we talked about earlier today, right? Yeah. Let's do something about this. We finally got the name Kazuya Subo Kazuo Suboi. Yeah, we can't allow this guy to abuse the animals. And he's doing it only for stress relief. He's exactly the type of man we should punish. There's no way I'm just letting this go. Kazuo Suboi, was it? Let's steal this creep's desires before he can harm any more innocent animals. Now that you have the target, you need to make sure everyone's on board with the mission. Summon them to the hideout for a vote. Yes. Let's get our pay and then get begin the operation. Since we got nothing going on today, we'll take the night job as well. What's this guy's talking about? Hmm? Didn't eat my lunch one summer day, embarrassed by how boring it was. Mom got worried, but I was stubborn, asking her why to, why I want to eat this. She just gave me a sad smile. Still can't say I, still can't say I'm sorry. Maybe I should have gone home for the bone holiday. 
No, I'm getting soft. I came out here to make it big. Midget's gonna attack. Man, can't the Phantom Thieves do something? Alright, alright, let me drop some knowledge on you, buddy. We owning this summer break, man. We don't, we doing it right, bud. Everyone. Facing civic disorder and economic, economic uncertainty, our citizens are in turmoil. It is imperative that we resolve the situation and social reform must be led by the government. However, who can the people currently depend on? Yes, the Phantom Thieves. The fact that they are being lionized is proof that the government is malfunctioning. The mismanagement by authority, authority figures is what has led us to this terrible condition. You. you, you're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I am pretty interested. Are you a student? I am delighted to captivate the interests of someone your age. Mm, I could use your help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without experience. I'm sorry, however, I'd be happy if you'd stop by to hear one of my speeches again. Well then, that's all for today. I'm heading for the beef bowl shop. And now we head to, we, we go to our part-time job at the beef bowl shop. Time to work at the beef bowl shop. Let's get to work. I can increase my proficiency, so that'd be nice. Oh, there's a lot. Hey, look, there's a ton of customers coming in all of a sudden. You're going to be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you remember them all. Oh, can I have a medium barbecue bowl? Hey, medium beef bowl, please. One large natto bowl. One medium hue go roll bowl. Yes. Uh, all right, stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first guy order? He ordered a medium barbecue bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's right. What did the second person order? Medium beef bowl. Hey. Yeah, they did say that. What about the third customer? Medium barbecue bowl. What did you say? No, that's not right. With a large... Ah, large natto. What did the fourth customer order? Well. Yeah, that's right. The Hugo Bowl. Uh-oh, the customer's been waiting a while. Hurry. You. You appear to have a difficult time here. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You were extremely busy. Employees are being overworked as being coming a real problem with a workplace that's concerning. Yeah, yeah, that is. Trust me, even in my job at FedEx, I got that sort of situation right now. Ugh, it's very alarming. Mm. Mm, I should remember this. Well then, I'll see you again. I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Hey, hey. Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to the station square again sometime soon. Nice work. Alright, good work out there of the call the customers today. I'm sure it was a lot of I'm sure it was a lot of work, but you did well handling it all on your own. It's not like today was Yan Yakiniku Day, though. I wonder if there was an event happening nearby. It's not much, but I paid you a little more than usual today. Keep up the good work. Hey, six thousand, that's Definitely more than usual, bruh. Man. Man, the manager really knows how to butter you. Man, the manager really knows how to butter you up. You did well all by yourself. You did make some mistakes, but it was good enough. It was thought it was good proficiency training, wasn't it? Uh. Phew. Well, I guess we should go home soon. Who could it be at this hour? I want to go look for a book. There's something I'm curious about. I'm going to book town in Jinbocho. Jinbocho. Can you make some time? Can you make some time since the summer vacation? I'd like you to help me look for it. Makoto's inviting you out, huh? So what's it gonna be? Do you want to go to the book town? 
You know what? Let's do it. Let's commit. Thank you. I'm actually thinking about looking into cognitive science. I'll give you the details tomorrow. Good night. Futaba's mother's research, huh? I wonder if we'll be we'll find anything in Booktown. Jin Bocho, famous for his Bookstown shopping district with great curry to boot. Tomes and spice. Old book piles up by the high spe specialty shops are truly a sight to behold. All right. Jin Bocho, Booktown. I can now invite people there when I hang out. All right. You can go shopping by yourself for some shopping if you desire. Excuse me. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Your host KJ, giving for another video of Persona 5 Royal. In our last video, we were doing a we were doing our day job and night job in order to further our progression with our confidants. We finally found out who the cat beater was, and we're going to take care of that later. But I have now finished with the convenience store in the day. We also was working the beef full at night so we can work. We were also trying to get work. Uh, we were also trying to um, get our confidant with the politician. I think Yoshida was it. But he constantly hangs out at the beef bowl, and we had to. He had to see his work at the beef bowl in order for us to. Um, get acknowledgement from him and we finally did so now we got those two I got one more job to take care of and I should be able to uh, get ready for mementos but Makoto called us today and she wants us to hang out at a bookstore and we're gonna do just that I'm interested in cognitive science the fields Futaba's mother was researching I doubt we'll f I doubt we will find any public information but maybe an older academic journal may mention it you know what Chances are it might be slim, but let's get to cracking. I see. Maybe this is a pointless endeavor after all. I want to learn more about cognitive science while we wait for Futaba's regain her strength. If only we could understand it more in depth. Maybe we could solve the mystery of the metaverse. You know, that's a funny thing here. We It was like 20 days ago since Futaba passed out from sleeping. I'm amazed that it's taken her this long. Granted... Granted, I mean, I understand that we have certain situations to deal with, but this is just crazy in the long run. She should have been awake by now. I know the game mechanics have st stuff to deal with that, but still. Imagine sleeping for 20 days. you basically in a coma at that point. It would make traversing easier for us, too. Oh, yeah, about the metaphors. Hey, it's Hifumi. What's up, Hifumi? Oh, um, hello. Um, goodbye. Well, <laughs> okay. Hello and goodbye to you, too. Excuse me, please wait. Was there something you wanted to say to him? Oh, no, nothing in particular. I was just surprised to see him here. I didn't mean to intrude between you two. Um... No need to be so considerate. He's just carrying my books for me. Oh, wow! How many is she gonna do? How many books is she gonna carry? Is she a friend of yours? Uh, she is my shogi master. Oh, master's a bit of an overstatement. We just play shogi together. Is she professional shogi player you had mentioned before? The master strategist? I see. I admit I only know the rules, but I'm intrigued to learn how a professional shogi player thinks. Is that a book on shogi tactics? Oh yes, I come here to purchase old shogi strategy books from time to time. Pardon me for asking. Could you teach me some strategies? I believe this knowledge. Can you teach me some strategies? I believe this knowledge will benefit me greatly in the future. Oh, sure, if you like. Well, if it if it is about shogi, then to attack you will need to be creative with your approach and sacrifice pieces with no remorse. So plan on enticing your opponent to focus on your sacrificial pieces so you can advance and counterattack. Yes. Yes, you seem to have the talent for this. Hey, I'm surprised that she, Makoto might do. I'm surprised Makoto adapted that quickly. She adapted to a somewhat sacrificial pawn mentality quicker than I thought. These two get along surprisingly well. I'm a little concerned about that. Another strategy I enjoy is to use bait pieces to draw your opponent to draw your opponent to your side of the board. 
They are engaging in a conversation I would not know about how to do it. Hmm, I see. That way you can surround them and... You two are pretty much hitting it off, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. What she was saying was so interesting, I lost track of time. I'll catch up to you later. Could you look at, for the book we had discussed earlier? Wow! So you two are just gonna hit it off and hang together. <laughs> this is so great. And look at the face she's making. She's like, yeah, we're busy here having girl talk. You go and do my errands. <laughs> wow. It honestly was, I was also pretty nice. I was pretty nice. So, nothing promising, huh? Shall we return home? I think we shall go home for today. I'm actually glad I spent the time with you today. I'm actually really glad. And we're not dealing with this sort of thing. No concern. Nothing, nothing. Yada, 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 yada. Nope. Man, it's hot. And what you guys have to talk about? Only one more week until Medjet deadline. Hey, can you see the form? Hey, you see the form? Yeah, people have been telling us to hurry up and protect the civilians. They're just saying whatever they want with no regard for the consequence. God, I seriously can't under seriously can't believe they're going on about all of that. About all that. By the way, how's Futaba? At this point, we're desperate for her assistance. She definitely mentioned Medjet back in the palace. I like to believe she's planning something. Even Makoto's gone over to the wait and see dark side. We don't have much time left. I know it's frustrating, but there's not much we can do. Hey. Yeah, he gives speeches in Shibuya. We can take care of that. Everyone. Facing civic disorder is a con and e economic uncertainty. Our citizens may are in turmoil. It is imperative that we resolve the situation and social reform must be led by the government. Yeah, we'll hang out with him today. However, who can the people currently... Yes, he's talking about the Phantom Thieves. We'll definitely hang with this guy today. I gotta get my you. confidence with him. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? Yeah, bro, we've been here before. Twice, to be in fact. Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of pers perseverance for a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't afford a job to a student. I was thinking you could learn some things if you choose to attend a few of my speeches, though. You know what? I'd be glad to. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and your contact info? You're a student from Shujin Academy. Hmm, it's nice to meet you. I'm Toronosuke Yoshida. I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on negative right before my speech. Well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Oh, we're getting to work right now. Everyone, this is major. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, however, even in the modern day and age, it is imperative that we act on the best interests of of, of all. I would a world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit. A world where the young exist only be exploited is a world that must be changed. Hm. Easy for hm. easy for him to say. Old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves. He's actually making some good points, but he's a no name. He probably won't get too far too far. Nothing's going to change, we'll just keep getting exploited. What's this wannabe p politician blathering on about now? He isn't even affiliated with a party. How about you just leave matters of the state to, in the capital hands of the liberal co-prosperity -prosper party? 
You mustn't base your decisions on whom you support merely according to the party they belong to. That is so true. You have any idea how many times an election comes up, people who vote for certain parties just because of the party. Like this person could be a terrible representation, but you would still vote for him because he represents your your party. Uh, this 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 year's election was the worst ever. I'm not even into politics, and I know this was the worst. It's times like this we gotta just vote for who we think is best, and not for who's in what party. This is honestly sad. Ah, just shut up already. You're just a washed up politician. If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I am fully prepared to. In the best interest of all? Ha! Save the blathering for when you get elected. If you get elected. Thank you. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what did you think of my speech? The best interest of all. I'm glad. Indeed. You do do you feel the same? I kinda do. Such as such as I am. I like to to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times like today when the audience has a difference of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should con concentrate on getting elected before I worry about others. Do you agree? You won't. Oh hell! I mean, I mean, I guess the point you got your you got your facts. You got your um. You got your ideas of what you're trying to fight for down, but now you got to find a party who wants to accept you and put you in. After all, you can't do anything about their support. So uh, sadly, I gotta agree with them. Mm. That is difficulty. That is difficult to hear said. However, I don't disagree. I am aware of the position I'm in. Besides, I have grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although I don't know if it is necessary, if, if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. Well then, I shall see you again soon. Oh, we're not gonna get our confident with this guy already? Man, I thought we were going to get it from the start. That sucks, bro.